In this particular study, we compare this standard chemoradiotherapy against a new treatment, which is bioradiotherapy, because we're combining a biological agent, which is not chemotherapy, with radiotherapy to see whether it is superior to the standard of care. And so what we thought was, if our traditional treatment is radiation and cytotoxic chemotherapy, cisplatin being the, the drug that we use, um, if that's our standard of care, can we change that by dropping the cisplatin and adding in EGFR inhibitors? The primary endpoint is called progression-free survival, which includes disease progression and survival. And we compare the chemoradiotherapy against the bioradiotherapy with panitumumab in that particular study, and that primary endpoint was negative. We were not able to show that the bioradiotherapy was superior to the chemoradiotherapy. One of the main benefits of this study was to rally the Canadian head and neck oncology community. We got tremendous support across Canada, as you can see, about 17 centers participated. And that was a very important thing for the future of, of head and neck cancer research within Canada. A larger study compared to our study has been completed by another group. The results from this larger study will help us understand whether bowel radiotherapy can replace the current standard of care for patients with locally advanced head and neck cancer. Uh, my name is Dr. Lillian Su. I'm a medical oncologist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. I'm John Waldron, a radiation oncologist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center.